We're going to mention one other operation, which will show up when we talk about graphs. It also will show up when we talk about some other ways to combine sets. This is the idea of the Cartesian product of sets. This is going to seem like a very strange thing to do, but it shows up in a lot of places, enough that it's worth mentioning. And like I said, it's going to show up in this class in terms of graphs, but it also shows up in example for defining what the xy plane is. So this shows up enough that we're going to do it. This is the set of all ordered pairs where the first thing comes from A and the second thing comes from B. It, the idea we're trying to capture here is that we have some set A and some set B and we're trying to write down all of the ordered pairs. So there's a bunch of things in A, maybe A1, A2, A3, and A4. And in B, maybe there's some other things, B1, B2, B3. This is the set of all of the points on that axis. You're trying to write out all the different things where the X coordinate, the first thing in the ordered pair, comes from A, and the Y coordinate comes from B. So let's write out an example just to showcase what I mean. A times B is the set. Well, I need to pair 1 with every element from B. I wrote this uh, in a weird way. We're good. So we have 1 A and 1 B. I need to pair 2 with every element from B, which is 2 with A and 2 with B. I need to pair 3 with every element from B, which is A and B. So that set contains six elements. In terms of cardinality, it shouldn't be surprising that this contains six elements because one of them contained three and the other came, we contained two. So multiplying those two things together makes perfect sense for the, we called this operation times. So multiplying the sizes seems like a reasonable thing to expect for the final result. So this is all the things where the X component comes from A and the Y component comes from B. For example, one reason that this is useful is for example, if you multiply the real numbers by each other, this is what you might call just the xy plane. In fact, we call this r squared. It's everything in the xy plane. That is one example where this shows up. It also will show up in graphs when we talk about the edges of a graph. It will show up in various places as we go through the class.